Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Oh uh, no, do you know her? No, no, I don't want you to talk. Do you know her? I don't know. Okay, that's all I need to know. You've been lying to me since square one. Do you know Tiffany Evans? You have been lying to me since the very second I talked to you. You've been lying to me. You said this, this is your grandma's house. Now you said it was your aunt's house. I said, who lives here? My aunt lives here. I pulled in to make a phone call. Hey, Tiffany. Tiffany, where are you going? On January 18, 2024, a California Highway Patrol officer pulled over a car on Elk Valley Road in Crescent City, California for speeding. The car was traveling at 60 miles per hour in a posted 45 zone. Hi, hold your for your speed. Oh, okay. Stay seated, please. Okay. You have your license registration insurance? Yeah. You're just coming home? Uh, yeah. I was just coming to get kids, so she doesn't look cool. Okay. And I thought you had one. Oh, top break. Yeah, and I thought you had one working brake light when you did that. And then, is your registration taken care of? Um, actually, yeah. We had, um... Cause, or did they just rip the tag off? Um, there's no tag back there, really. Uh, okay. What it is is, um, we went to have it pass mob, and it, uh, we just put a battery in it. Uh -huh. So, it didn't, it was incomplete. And then it broke down for quite a while. Okay. And, um, so we weren't driving it, and then we got repairs. And uh, put insurance on it. It's actually my daughter's car. Yeah, but she's just turned 16, so. Okay. Yeah. Do you have your license, the uh, old registration, and the insurance? Yeah. yeah. I got you right at 5960. Yeah, so I looked down, so I was like, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I could jump around. My, that's not my wallet, but I do have my... Okay. What's going on? Well, Sorry, I just got pulled over. Just going a little fast today. Sorry. What's that? Sorry, I just got pulled over. Oh. Sorry. Do you have your driver's license? What is this? Uh, somebody, uh... Uh, use my ID for license um, in uh, Oregon, uh -huh. and um, they got a ticket, and didn't go to court, and then they hit somebody and injured them, and got a ticket, and didn't go to court, and so um, the ticket came back as my name, okay. and so right now I have a court date to go to court um, on that, and because um, it initially held it out of Oregon, which I saw the ticket, and it's just my name and birth date, so I have to, like, rectify that. Yeah. And so they put a, a withhold on my driver's license. Okay. Does that mean that a cop took it? Withhold? Uh, it pretty much works the same as a suspended driver's license. Well, so. I think it's, uh, like... It means they're withholding just, your driver's license privilege, which means you can't drive. But does that mean that, like, a cop actually took it from her? Or from her thing? Because it's not, it's like an identity theft kind of a thing. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, it, Usually with those, it's just the DMV for whatever reason is withholding your driver's license status. Okay. And so, the 
Yes, and I got um, a ticket here that I have to go to court in March. Okay. So it's a be guardian. Um, because, but, like, I have a driver's license, so I have to... Do you have an ID or anything with you? Yeah. Do you actually have the driver's license with you still? Um, or so my wallet was stolen, but I have a picture of that driver's license. Okay. Um, and I have a hard copy ID. Okay. If you want that. Yeah, if you want that, that would be, that'd be great. Um, And your court dates all the way out in March? March, yeah, I got a letter. It was um, uh, the day after Christmas, I think it was. And um, then, so the court date was, you know, like in January, or whatever it says on that ticket. Okay. And then I got a letter saying it's like March 5th or something like that. You know, you can go in before then and probably try to rectify it. Well, I was... Um, I talked to somebody, um... You got your ID, you can grab your ID. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening at the same time. I'm just, just like letting you know this, like, um, what it, what's the deal with it. It's just that it's, 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 um, I need to go prove it. So I, I had to get the tickets. I got all three tickets, but this person had expired. You know, you, it's the same as the other one. Do you know who did it? I'm, I'm, I have a feeling I do because there was a passenger was the one, um, accident. Um, and I got too progressive and they were like, um, they were like, um, oh. What was that? You know, um. What's that in your wallet? What? The thing that looks like a meth pipe. What is that? What are you talking about? Pull your wallet out. Don't try to hide it. What do you mean? Where'd it go? What do you want me to open? Do you want me to start searching your car? What are you talking about? Do you want me to start searching your car? What are you talking about, though? Tiffany, come on. Oh. I just saw the pipe. I saw you, and then you quickly closed it. Do you want me to start ripping the car apart? I put the ID right here in the front. Okay. Hey, hey. This can go two ways. Okay. I have enough to tow your car right now. Okay. So, make your decision right now. What do you, how do you want this to go? Where's, where's the pipe? Okay. okay. Is there any way I can uh, okay. call my mom and have her come to the pickup? <laughs> You're not working with me. You want me to work with you. All right. I see how this works. So who lives here? Um, I'm sorry, I'm just pulling in right here. Okay. Yeah, that's
Where are your kids at? Hey Tiffany, where are your kids at right now? On Kings Valley. Where are you coming from? Why? Okay, and you're not with your kids. Who's with your kids? Who's with your kids? Oh no, do you know her? No, nope, no, nope. I don't want you to talk. Do you know her? I don't know. Okay, that's all I need to know. You've been lying to me since square one. Do you know Tiffany Evans? I don't think so. You have been lying to me since the very second I talked to you. So, all I ask for is honesty and truth. So sorry, sorry to disturb you. I'll have this cleaned up for you in a minute. Thank you. You've been lying to me. You said that this was your grandma's house. Now you said it was your aunt's house. I said, who lives here? My aunt lives here. I pulled in to make a phone call. My aunt? Those were your words. I pulled in here to make a phone call. That is a lie. She doesn't even know you. That's not your aunt. She's the one who lives here. So why did you tell me that? said my aunt lives here. I pulled in here to make a phone call. Yeah, they said my aunt. That is your aunt? No, it's just that like, um, so you can't your, okay, you can't ever keep your stuff straight right now. All right, Tiffany, we'll, we'll wrap this up. Humboldt 95, 65, can I get 27, 28 when you're ready? Humboldt, go ahead. Humboldt 9565, when me in the address of...
Humble 9565, go ahead with that and then could you start me 1185 please? 9565, Humble. Confirm 9590 if I was in 1126. 9590 Humboldt 1126, southbound 111 mile marker 131 on that gray four-door sedan. 9590 ETL, County Line, Mile Marker 100. Tiffany, do you have any insurance on the car? Uh, 95, you know, traffic to What's the insurance cover? company? Do you have the proof of it? Because you've been cited for non-insurance before. Do you, do you have a copy of it so I can see it before I get you out here? Someone coming to pick you up? Yeah. Okay. My FI 65, I copy. You only have the one dog in there, right? Yeah. All right. Thank 
I'm going to give you a citation and I will not put the insurance on there if we can show proof that you have it. That's why I say I'm giving you time. Yeah. So. yeah, I always tell people it's very, you don't have to, you can do it on the phone, but it makes it a lot easier if you keep a hard copy in the car. Usually just, um, everything was taken out of the glove box, at, like here recently, and so... I understand life happens, yeah. I'm just saying, oops. Here. Is that before you? Yeah, I bought it like that. Cause what is that? It just looks like foam. Yeah, I did um, a little bit of a job like that. It's made for Bondo. Yeah, whatever. It's got to be like 75 degrees to do Bondo. It is great bond. Anything with your policy number on it? Anything? I'm thinking that this, this one took place of, took the place of it, but I don't know that, um, because that's the car I was driving before, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, I just, I know I switched the coverage over to it, and yeah. so for that to be the only thing in here, um, Alright, I will take your word for it, but you need to get a card copy in there. Yeah. Alright. Um, then I had it sent as a piece of paper, and then usually I just log right in, because, uh, this one was total, so it was how you handled it, I guess. Alright, so... Here's your ID, Beck. Thank you. This is for the speed and for the suspended driver's license. If you get all that taken care of and they prove that you don't have it, but it looks like you have a suspended driver's license not only for that stuff, but for a bunch of tickets from two years ago but the, it's, that you never it's took care of. Been, um, I did take care of it. Now. I'm just saying, that's what it looks like. Okay. So um, you got to get all that straightened out yeah. and go to the court and show them that you got it all taken care of, and then they should... Yeah. If it's all taken care of, you don't have a suspended license. Told me they, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. You. No, no, go for they it. They lowered it from like uh, misdemeanor to infraction, but I still had to say guilty. But I it, wasn't. Did you, you pay know, all the fines and all? Do whatever they me. told you. It wasn't me, and so um, I just need to prove that it wasn't me. And then Seems I. Seems like someone's getting a lot of tickets in your name. Right. There was only three, but the ones in this county was me. Okay. And then I just went to court on that. Yeah, I was going to say, those ones, the ones up in Oregon, I see them, but then there's also ones from this county from two years ago yeah. that never got taken care of. So well, whether you paid it, uh, and if you paid them, then you never went to DMV and got your license reinstated. Because your license is not withdrawn, it's suspended okay. for the tickets. So you need to go get that, figure out what's going on, go to DMV, get your license reinstated. Okay. All right? So find out what they need from you to go get from the court. I just have learned that there's two courts uh, also... Uh, it could be the same ticket. I got what, two tickets in one week, and it's just good to know. Mm -hmm. And so then I got a, a letter for the golf officer to put the same court date. It was like October. They put their court date for in November. Okay. And then I got a letter saying that my court date was changed for December. But So I went December, but there's still that one in November in a traffic division. 
Okay. Then I, and so I didn't go. Two different tickets. Yeah, but I thought it was. You thought. Then, and so it was really, a, really expensive. Uh, because there's no. Did you explain that to the court, or? There's, there's nothing they could do because I got a, um, appointed a lawyer for yeah. the criminal one. Okay. And, um, so he was like, yeah, there's nothing you could do about that. Yeah, there's two courts, and it just, <clears throat> and it just as for an incident, so it didn't really even have like a number. It just, it's a like you said, human and ears and. Yep. All right, then grab your pup, grab anything that's important, and you can go get the, the vehicle from Affordable with the licensed driver. Pup's nice, right? Okay. Here's your copy of it. Not particularly happy. She was coming here to pick up her kids from her grandma. That's from her grandma. And then, turns out, no, grandma just, and she told me her aunt lives here. And she just pulled in to make a phone call after I got her 60 down Elk Valley. As soon as she came around the corner, she shot in here. And then I walk and knock on the door because the lady already came out once. She comes out once and I'm like, Do you know her? She goes, I don't think so. And I go, Do you know Tiffany Evans? She's like, I don't have glasses. I'm like, Her name's Tiffany Evans. Do you know her? She goes, I don't think so. And I go, Turn back and I'm like, It's not your aunt. She lives here. Cars. It looks like the fees are on file, but nothing else. It's expired out of 22. She couldn't find proof of insurance. I'm just taking her word because she has an old insurance card from her other car. She doesn't have a license. This is suspended a million times. Been a I believe she says a ride's coming to pick her up. She's just grabbing her stuff and then getting out of this lady's driveway. And then I want to have affordable come. Do you have the key to the car? Yeah. yeah. Uh, all I need is the key to the car. The rest of the keys on the key ring are yours. You can grab it, great. If not, I'll come around and grab it. I just want the key to the car, nothing else. And then let's not make this too crazy because this is her property, not... And I would like to be off her property and give it, cost her the least amount of inconvenience that we can. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, that's okay. We'll be out of here in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, don't back out of here. You'll get yourself killed. Okay. Is that what that little thing is to turn around? For sure. You can, yeah, no, right. no worries. Uh, these people drive like maniacs. I've seen them drive so fast. I heard them coming. I thought it was airplanes crashing. Oh, it crashed. Really? It was a jet whistle. It went by so fast, I couldn't tell you it was a pickup or a car, and I couldn't tell you what color it was. And the old lady next door, yeah. she heard it too. And then like five minutes later, here it come back again. They had been doing over 100 miles an hour. It really? sound like a jet engine. Yeah. Because I was in the house, and I don't hear that good. And, um, well, anyway, I don't want to expose you. I've had the cries and oh, okay. and sore throat. Oh, I appreciate that, but, and yeah. So well, somebody's coming to get that car. I'm going to I'm gonna tow it out of here. So we'll probably we'll probably do the tow over on that side because it's Caltrans property. So I don't mind inconveniencing them. Oh well. Oh, you mean she has to drive it over there? No, she's going to grab her stuff and she's going to go walk out to her ride, and then I will get the car out of here in just a few minutes off your property. Oh, okay. who, who's coming? Who's coming with the tow truck, Matt? Affordable today. 
Do they got one of them that lifts up or whatever? The, the ramps? Yeah. Yeah. And then, like I said, it's drivable, so we could just drive it right over there. Walk okay. Caltrans for a few minutes. Yeah. Get out of your driveway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Like I say, you want that guy. Will do. Thank you. All right, let's let's kind of start wrapping this up. So, the most important stuff. The rest of it, you can go to affordable and get. Okay. It's in your name. Yeah. So you can go down there. I was gonna say, just what you can carry that's important and valuable. Okay. And then the rest of it can stay in the car, and you can go. You can go right down and either get all the stuff from Affordable's lot. Do they charge you $95 or something? Uh, they shouldn't be charging you anything to get it on business hours. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, if you have to go down to the, their yard on a weekend when they're not there, then they might charge you a gate fee, which might okay. be the $95. Okay. And then if you, you could get a licensed driver, you can go get the vehicle released and and uh, it's going to be a license hold. So, so cause does everything here need to go with you? No, just if there's just some bags. Uh, yeah, but this is getting to the point where it's so many bags that I don't think you'll be able to oh. carry them by yourself. Uh, and you can go pick them up in just a few minutes from Affordable. Those ones out. I'll put those ones back in. Okay. okay. Yeah, I just I just don't want it to be so much you can't carry it. Go ahead. 61 Humboldt, go ahead. 961 Humboldt, for now it's 1098, your stop out was a 24 with the Otara same 1020. Humble 9564, 98. 95, 61, I copy A-firm, stand by, just want to abbreviate a 28, they're cut for. So 95, you know, traffic, 10-9, you are covered. Humble 95, 64, I'll be 98. 95, 64, 98. 95, 61, Humble, the other 28, go ahead. Humboldt 
Alright, there's too much stuff coming out of the car. Come on, just grab what you need so we can get out of here. And then you can go pick it up in a few... Huh? Okay. Yeah, but we're taking everything out of the car right now, and we should just be grabbing the things that are important. I'm trying not to rush you, but... Like I said, what's important, but not everything needs to come out. Because I, like I said, I, if we were in someone's driveway, I might give you all day long, but we're in someone's driveway, if she needs to go, we're blocking her way. Here, Here and this is the paperwork to get your car out, too. Are you leaving anything important in there you need me to document? So she's currently getting her stuff out of the car. So if you want to set up here on the Caltrans thing, I can yell at them and tell them to go to hell all day. But uh, car's drivable. I have a key. She tried to duck on me and hide around the corner. So, so um, yeah, didn't work because I came around. By the time I turned, caught up to her, she was right here out of the open. Uh, so yeah, we're grabbing her stuff. She's grabbing her things that are important. If you want to get set up here, as soon as she's done, I have the key to come grab it, drive it over here, because she says it's the backing out of here and stuff is just nuts. Yeah. Whatever you want to, where, however you want to do it. But uh, you want to back it up in there and just grab it that way? That's fine, but it's kind of 90 degree turn from your truck. No, that's fine. We just ride it. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm uh, finishing up the 180 right now. I know, I know. Hey, puppy.
So what's going with you? What's going back in the car? Because let's start getting everything that's going back in the car back in the car. And is your ride coming? Um, I used to call my two three on patrol, and then I told them to where I was. Okay. But, um, road at Ocean Drive, the first trailer full of the plane is kind of 15 feet long, and we call the plane. I'm afraid to get long on this. On 1-9, here the unit went out for a second of four to the beat it. It just went by that this is not 1124. There were hours that on the second. We're not making it. Stop. 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 So all of this is going with you, everything that's on the ground. Yeah, okay. Paul, they're all the same now at this point. I think it's California. Oh. <coughs> I made myself busy for the last 45 minutes. Just like everything I know, dude. I I came in. I'm like, this is what they left me. I've been gone for three days, and I come back, and it's just filthy. Yeah. Get out there again. You watch it right now. It's oh yeah, I just go in. We just have a pressure washer. I mean, we have a big washing bay, but I just take a pressure washer, I just spray it off, and I just, I might scrub it. Hey, what? I don't know where that goes. Okay.
That window looks like it's up. Looks like you got it up. All right, come on, Tiffany, we gotta hurry. I wanna get out of this driveway because I don't wanna block her for access to her property. He's already here. He's been here for a few minutes. No, we're gonna move we're gonna move your car out of her driveway and then he's just gonna take it right over to his tow truck because it's too hard to tow it right here. You can't leave some of this in the car? You, you, you can take all of it if you can get it, but I mean, I'm just saying it might be better on you if you leave a little bit of it. Okay. But off Kings Valley? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a, we had a block up that side, so you can make it up here and there. The, uh, open to the other. Come help me with your friends. Yeah. Do you think it works? Want to do something? Well, hopefully that all works out. Yeah. I'm sorry that I got washed out. You told me something last night. That's actually one of her dogs, too. Okay. okay. help bringing the stuff to the end of the road or anything? Huh? Yeah, I think they've got their front loader or something working back there. That's a big Caltrans rock yard. Yeah. So they got all kinds of, they they got all kinds of stuff back there. Okay, perfect. So let's grab your stuff and, and start walking out of here so we can we can all get off for driveway. Thank you very much for doing that. No, no, Tiffany, no, no, just, just, all right, Tiffany, come on, we need to go, we need to get off of her property, this is her property.
Let's go so we can grab your dog and get your stuff. Come on, I'm not trying to be mean, but at this point we need to start moving. Where are you going, Tiffany? Okay. Do you need help taking stuff over to the road? Oh, I mean, sure, if you, if you were wanting to do that, that'd be fine. Okay, let's okay. grab some stuff and let's go. I'll put it all together. I'll do that over there. How about that? Perfect. Yeah, I still need an inventory it, so just when you get it over there, get it all set up, just I'll come over there and inventory before you put it up. Oh, okay. Alright, you need me to grab anything else? Oh, I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> get your license taken care of, that way this doesn't happen. Yeah. We'll slow down. Good and bad choices, and today it was just a couple bad choices. Do you want to have a
Hey, could you turn it on and get the uh, mileage for me? I didn't see it. It's probably not looking. Where'd you hide it at? Oh. 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 Yeah, she said she's pulling the old thing. Back for what? For what are you coming back for? What are you coming back for? Oh. Is it over there? Right there. I'll pick it up. Check up right there. Do it out of the way because you kicked it. Do you want me to throw that in your car? Sure, sure. You sure you don't want to throw any of that into your car? Hang on, get out of the lane. There's a car coming. Don't stand in the lane. I think it's too much stuff for you to carry. Oh, well, I'm going to get right. I just get off the property that's why. Okay. You can stay right here on the Caltrans property. So I'm going to the Caltrans property. You should be okay.
Yeah, yeah. Get that fixed if you get the car out. Yeah. Um, I didn't see that before, though. I didn't. I thought you were just kind of making that up behind me. I have not lied to you from at all. I, I don't lie to people. I mean, it's not like um, I didn't leave you, but I just I looked at the lights lately. So I kind of thought you were talking about that one right there was broken. No. Yep. Uh, but you see, I've been doing a lot of work on that one, so mm -hmm. um, for it to not work. Hey, so this is Calfram's property okay. right here. I, I don't have an issue. With the, if one of them comes by and says you can't be right here, then it, it's kind of their property. Okay. Don't go past these gates. Oh, please. okay. Well, I, I don't. I don't. I'm not assuming you are or anything. Just giving yeah. you a heads up because after that they might trespass you. Yeah. So if you just hang out here, wait for your ride. Be looking like this. Yeah. I'll go over there see if I can't find one of them. Let them know you're over here okay. so that way they can just leave you alone. Yeah. Just as long as you don't go into their property with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I. I'm just. Just, and then you, you have your ride coming? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just don't have the right to go home, so I'm just doing a lot of thinking right now. Um, okay. My mom's going to make it up there. She has a good clock down. So. Okay. And so I'll go to work at eight. Now, what school do they go to? Um, the, oh, the house. Okay. I didn't even know that that was all foam until I walked up and looked at it. Five hundred bucks, you know. Um, gotta do what you gotta had, do, right? It had ninety thousand miles on it, and uh, the guy's wife died or whatever, and so it broke down uh, on our family trip. And then my friend in Oregon, we did everything: uh, the time, the timing belt, the water pump, the air tank, the spark plug, the oil tank, brake. Yeah. Uh, the battery and everything. So I mean, it could probably go for another hundred thousand. But, uh, yeah, that, that check engine lights on, though, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, or it shouldn't have been on. I think it was just the, um, the air pressure sensor. Oh, okay. For some reason, all of the valve stems have uh, messed up. Yeah. I could, I, one of my cars does that. No you gotta go reset them every, the every time it gets cold. Yeah. Or they just plug in or something like that. So reset it and see what happens. Okay, so they can reset it without doing a new valve stem. Oh. Uh, so it was $27. And I'm like, okay, well, we'll get Hey, to get your car out, you just gotta bring a licensed driver to the CHP office with that paper I gave you yeah. for the to release the car. Okay. They'll release the car to your licensed driver. Okay. And then please don't drive until you got your license will take care of. Yeah. Alright. Um, so good. So just because then you run the risk of getting a towed again. Uh, I believe the fees are paid, so there's no registration hold on your car whatsoever. So sometimes we can hold it for the registration too until the fees are paid. But uh, if I remember right, the fees are paid, so there's no registration hold. You just got I believe you got to get the smog since you switch donors and a little bit of extra stuff. And the it was still 55 bucks for the no. Yeah. Yeah, some of them do that. Some of them will give it to you for free if it, if it fails the first time. And Thank you. Use this car with mom. Yeah. Oh, baby, baby. Yeah. It's so glad that it's flying forward or something. Well, that's why it's strapped down everywhere. It's got a bunch of straps on it, so. All right, I want to go tell the Caltrans guys you're up here. Like I said, you can hang out here. Should be able to hang out here until your ride gets here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right.
Like and subscribe for more police transparency videos.